is our Thanksgiving um, banner, and we are going to use this Rock Long Cloth, R-O-C-L-O-N, and it is blackout, um, drapery blackout fabric. And so you get it in Joann's, at, and it'll be on a bolt, and so it'll be back by the uh, decor fabric and things like that, and they probably won't know what it's called, but you want the, the, the blackout um, version. They have a whole bunch of different drapery lining fabrics there. The reason this month we're going to use this, we've been doing canvas and wood banners and things like that, <clears throat> but this month, my pattern, I don't know if you can see it or not, I had to go with leaves, I just couldn't get around it, but this month, um, this time what we're going to do is we're going to cut all of, because this um, fabric doesn't curl on the edges and stuff, what we're going to do is we're going to cut out all of the leaf shapes at the bottom so that it'll be kind of a little bit lacy and, un, you know, have that just leaf relief, if you will. So if we did that with canvas, canvas, canvas curls, and it frays and does other things, this does not. And I've done a test batch on another project. So um, anyway, so what you're going to do is come up with a rectangle, the size of the pattern, and give yourself enough room to put a hem, which you could stitch at the top, and you don't need to hem the sides. So get your hem at the, and then don't cut the bottom into a point. So you'll just, after you're all done and painted, and you've got everything the way you want it, then you'll, you'll cut out with real sharp scissors all of the little leaf edges right there. Okay. We are going to use a roller, and we're going to do, there's the smooth side to this stuff, and then there's your rougher side. And we're going to do it, our um, painting on our rough side. We're going to use a roller because it'll be easier to get into all the little nicks and grooves and stuff. And we're going to make a mess on our paper, which is why I've got paper there. We will just squirt out some black paint and then give it a roll. When you put black paint on um, your piece like that, go real slow when you first start rolling it because it can um, it can splash on you. It spits a little bit. So get a nice even coat. You'll probably have to do it a second time. This doesn't dry the fastest. Um, it's about as bad as canvas is. So expect to have a couple hours drying time or you know put it in front of a heater or something like that. You can, you can iron this cloth, which is fantastic. So I've got a few wrinkles here because it was folded up. And so what I'm going to do is roll it out first. And when I decide if I'm okay with whatever, if I have still got wrinkles, then I'll take it and go iron it. And that'll set my black into it anyway, which is just an advantage. If you wanted to hang this outside, um, I've been told, and I haven't gotten mine outside yet because it's just haven't gone there. And um, if you want to hang this outside, then um, I've been told, like I said, it's weatherproof. Um, I would roll black on the back side as well so that you have at least got a consistent look to the back. You know, you wouldn't want this unfinished weird stuff. And if you were really ambitious, then what you could do is um, paint both sides. And you could hang it on one of those wrought iron stands. When you get to the edges of this, whoops, it likes to grab. So, you got to get a finger dirty and hold on to it. This is not quite as heavy as um, canvas is, so it doesn't sit very well. One of the other things I did buy, and I haven't played with it yet, um, Rocklon makes a craft fabric, and it is about the, the weight of, can of canvas but it's very expensive but it's I think it's got the same qualities as this fabric so um, I'm gonna be playing with that I'm gonna try a floor cloth with it and a couple of other things I got I got ideas anyway do, give it a coat let it kind of cure a little bit give it a second coat and you can trace your pattern it's when you roll on a piece of material or something you can get a texture that is really a little bit rough, kind of like little bumps and things like that. So I just take a sanding disc and just skim it. I'm not really sanding, I'm just taking the high points off. You never knew you could sand fabric, did you? Anyway, that just makes everything nice and back to where I needed it to be.